Okay guys, so here we are, we're kind of coming to the wrist. So, uh, lots of people get jacked off wrists. It's because I bet you, you're, you're benching like that. So please don't bench like that, bench like that. Um, the other thing is definitely from lots of striking, your, uh, your wrists get really messed up. Or if you're mountain biking and falling off, uh, surprisingly, that's not too much fun for the wrist. Okay, so if you are doing that, number one, start up here and get these guys done first, then come into this guy. Okay, so we've uh, already shown you elsewhere how to do that, but this, the similar kind of setup that we have, so we're coming down here, we're using the elbow as a little hook, as a little anchor, and then we're gonna come up there like that. So, we're now gonna come right up to the top. Okay, so this stuff, the stuff up here, is basically just so you can get that there by yourself. Now, we're gonna come into this, and this is gonna be one of our, our slightly shorter, um, Spread so instead of having a centimeter between each one, it's probably going to be less than that centimeter and a half, something like that. Okay, so we're getting lots of compression coming through there, and uh, you'll find that your hand all of a sudden turns into a claw. Okay, that's because the, the flexors, the, the muscles which uh, flex the fingers and the hand, they're getting massively compressed through here. Okay, as we come up, then get up into the top and go into there. So we're getting those guys. Lots of compression there. Again, as you're coming into the wrist, that's actually getting traction and getting pulled out and feels quite delightful. Uh, and you're getting all of that stuff through there. And this is basically just the setup to get you into that. Once we're in that position, go very gently. Okay, so uh, lateral movement like that, just to see how things are going. And again, you can, you can work, work it through. And then flexion extension like that. Now, as you can see with the claw, um, these guys are really tight. So you can come back and stretch through here or you can again do that on the ground. Be very careful to see how things are. With this one, so say like with the hip, I go absolutely crazy. With the wrist, be very careful, understand how your body feels and go through that. It should be fine, yeah, it shouldn't be an issue as long as you just listen to what your body has to say. Lots of rotation, lots of these guys, lots of those guys and coming through.